I'm redoing homework three because I think I might have made a boo boo. Um, but here's problem number one. It is a repeated measures ANOVA within group ANOVA. I'm just going to run it ASA fast as I possibly can because I don't have a lot of time. Hold on. Always make sure you got the right data set. Ours is Tudor Marks, so we're going to go to analyze. General linear model, repeated measures. And ours has four different measurements levels. We're going to add it. We're going to define it. We're going to pop these bad boys over here. Model contrast plots, don't care. Save uh, options. We always want options. Overhaul. We want the descriptives, the estimate of effect size, power, homogeneity variance. Important. This is a repeated measure. It doesn't use homogeneity variance. It uses the sphericity test. That's the Mouchley box that you got to look at. But let's click continue. Click OK. Here's the output. Let me line it up. So this tells you what your repeated measures were. Here's the mean of each measure. You can see right off the bat there's going to be a significant difference. You've got a high of 68 and a low of 57, which is a lot. Okay, so, but the multivariate test, this is not the box you look at, but it should agree with your test within subjects box. And this says that there was a significant difference. No, I take it back. This says there was not a significant difference, right? So, but let's keep moving. So the Mouchley test for sphericity it was violated, okay, because the significance is less than 0.05. This was violated. So the assumption of sphericity was violated. If it is, you switch to what we call a, a, a sphericity correction measure. We're going to go ahead and use the Hun felt because it's the biggest. So how that works is when you violate sphericity, you go to your ANOVA table, and this is it right here, anything with the F scores in it, this is your ANOVA table. You don't look at the sphericity assumed row, you look at the uh, the correction row. So we use the Hunfeld, so we're going to use these numbers. Okay, according to this, the significance was less than 0.05, so we can say that, yeah, there was a significant difference between the four tutor marks, okay? And the rest of this, well, this is contrast, we don't do contrast. And there was no between group, so we don't really care about that. But that's it, so let's look at the answer sheet real quick. Okay, and she had the wrong assumptions up there. I put the assumptions up there for a repeated measures ANOVA. No homogeneity variance, only sphericity. And so the data was normal. Uh, independence was assumed. Sphericity was violated. We switched to the Hunfelt correction. And that's what we used when we looked it up on, the, on our ANOVA table, right? We looked at the corrected values. And there was a significant difference. The effect size from the table above... 0.346, the APA write-up is as follows. Blah, blah, blah. You can slow this video down if you want. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And the tables that I attached were mean standard deviations, normality test, the Mouchley test, and then finally the test of within subjects, your ANOVA box. All right, that's it for question one. Here comes question two.